So today we're going to talk about washing, maintenance of your vehicle, the appearance. This is my D22. One of the toughest areas you can wash on a truck is your tires. You're going to see what I use. I use a curved scrubbing brush. Then the step up, the sidebars, those both trying to get dirty really quickly. This black plastic, notice how it tends to get that white frosted look. I'm going to show you a trick I use to get it black again. Now I know you can use a lot of expensive products on this, huh? but I won't do that. Yeah, your, your lamps can also get frosted, foggy, cloudy. Again, I'm going to show some tricks for that. That's the overall appearance of my vehicle when it's not washed. And washing a D22 is like washing two cars. It takes a lot of work, so I try to use things that would make it last. The windows, I like to use newspaper. I don't know about you. The, that might be really old school, but it takes away the streaks really well. Notice how that door has like a two-tone look. It makes it unsightly. And the bonnet as well as, you know, not looking as well as it should. You know, a vehicle this age too tends to get a lot of nicks and um, discoloration and whatnot. There's some things that I use. These are the. And you know, when I when you have a canopy, you might think, oh, it's really hard to get certain parts of your vehicle with the canopy there. This is what I use. You can probably make your own. Put a stick and a sponge on it. This does really well at getting in between those crevices. That's the curved. Uh, scrubbing brush I was talking about. It's the same angle of the tire. I mean you can really use any scrubbing brush. And that's what I use on my vehicle. It's a cheap car wash. I use that sometimes but I use something better now. I use one that sprays on the tire. It makes a sheen and I don't have to rub it in. This is just me scrubbing my tire. It's way better at getting those crevices. I wouldn't use this scrubbing brush on the actual rim itself, just in these inner parts. I use a uh, cloth specifically for the rims. Don't use the same cloth as on the body. Now, the trick I use here, you may laugh, is if you get a bottle of power stirring fluid that's a penetrator, one that's supposed to stop leaks. That can penetrate the plastic really good and it lasts for a very, very long time. I have used other products on this, but they don't last and the white foggy appearance comes back. But because this one, this kind of power stirring fluid has a sealer in it, it tends to become more permanent Try it. It doesn't wash off easily either. So when the rain falls, it stays there. But you may have to do it, you know, two or three times before it penetrates. Another cheap trick you can use on the lenses is to take some 2500 grade sandpaper and sand it down the areas that are foggy or messed up. And then apply the same power stirring fluid that I um, mentioned earlier, the one that is a penetrated one that's a sealer not just any power stirring fluid that gives it a really great shine now that's the cheap way of doing it of course there are products out there that you can use but those cost money I haven't even done my tires yet there but I use the same process on my step ups and you can see how good it looks there what do you use on your vehicle what are some of the products let me know in the comments area